Mark here from mieccctv.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to activate your DVR or MVR using your Mac computer, uh, more specifically on OS X Mojave. So what we're first going to need to do is check which version of uh, OS X that you are running. Now for the purpose of this video we have uh, Mojave on. Uh, at the time of recording this is the latest version that is available on the Mac. We will post further updates if there is a newer version in the future. So as we can see we're running Mojave and what we need to do now is go into Safari and we're going to search for Hikevision OS X software. So we want to click the top link which is the link to Hikevision's client software. I'll include a direct link to this in the description below. And then we want to download the Hikevision IVMS 4200 and we need the version for the Mac. So the latest version at the time of recording is version 2.0.0.10. So we just click on that. And then we just want to click on download and just agree with Hikevision's terms. Okay, once that's downloaded, we just need to uh, install the application. So if we go ahead and click on our downloaded file, now we'll get a message that this can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. If we just click on the Apple in the top left and go on to System Preferences, we want to go into Security and Privacy, and now we want to make sure we've got the General tab selected, and we now have the option to Open Anyway. So if we click Open Anyway, and then click Open, this will now let us install the IVMS software. So if we click Continue and then Install, the wizard will just prompt us to enter in the password for our Mac. And now the installation is complete. So we should now have access to the IVMS software. So if we launch that from down in our dock here, the first thing that the software is going to ask us is to set up a user. Now this is a user for the software, so we can lock the software so people can't open it and access your cameras without having a password. Now there is an option to enable auto login which effectively disables this password feature so it won't prompt you every time you open the software. Okay so now that we're into the software we'll just maximize it and then we're going to go to device management. Now you can see we've got our device here and at the moment the device is inactive. So the first thing we need to do is activate this. So this uh, DVR hasn't been hooked up to a monitor or anything yet. So it doesn't have a password set on it. We haven't set any of the settings. So we're going to activate it. We do this just by clicking the activate button. And now we set up a password for the recording unit. You can also set up your IP camera passwords here, so we're doing it the same. And there's also an option to enable the Hike Connect account here. Uh, we're not going to cover that in this video, but we do have other video tutorials on how to do this, so we won't tick that box. But we've set all our passwords up, so we're just going to click OK. OK, and the DVR will prompt us to set up security questions so we can recover our password if needed at a later date. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to put generic answers in the answer box. But obviously, if you answer these correctly, you'll be able to recover your password at a later stage if you ever forget it for your recording unit. OK, and it's as simple as that. So now the device is activated. And it should appear here, which will now allow us to add this device onto the IVMS software so we can view the cameras on our Mac. So we simply want to click on the Add to Client button here. We want to give the device a nickname for the purposes of the video. We'll just call it CCTV. It automatically inputs the local IP address of the device. 
and then we're just going to enter in the username and password that we just set up a moment ago. Now if it's successfully connected you'll see the device serial number will appear above. So we can see we've got the model number and the serial number and the net status has a little green world on it which means that it's online currently. So now the device is added to the software we can go to the main view and it will have added the device here and if we just drag this across we can access the cameras. Now we've got no cameras plugged in but we wouldn't be getting the no video feed if the device hadn't connected correctly. This completes this video tutorial. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if this worked for you. Leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more technical support videos.